other frameworks. Uh, it could be uh, the combination of test ng with. Hello, friends. So, in this video, we are going to take interview of Sneha Garwal. She is an automation tester working with TCS. Let's get started. Hello, Sneha Garwal. Hi, sir. Okay, so you have experience of three years, I guess, right? Yes, right. I have three years of experience uh, in automation testing as well as manual. And you are working in? I'm working in Tata Consultancy Services. Okay, great, great. So let's start our interview without wasting any time. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you around uh, 10 to 15 questions. So let's start with the question number one. Yeah. So, uh, you working as an automation tester, right? Yeah, right. Okay. So, in automation testing, what is the difference between black box testing and white box? Uh, so, black box testing is basically we are providing input and we are expecting some output. So, in black box testing, we do not uh, directly interact with the code, but rather from in uh, white box testing, we do interact with the code. We go through the code line by line and we do debug it. So this is the basic difference between black box testing and white box testing. And if we talk about automation testing, uh, automation testing is basically the white box testing. Great. Correct. And uh, I hope you work on Jenkins also. Uh, yeah, I have uh, the working experience on okay, uh, Jenkins. So in Jenkins, what is parallel execution? Uh, so parallel execution means we are uh, executing all the text test cases at a sa at the same time. So what it does, it basically uh, connects uh, the browser with with the test case. So if there are thousands of test cases, thousands of browser instances will open, and these those thousands of test cases will run parallelly. Okay. So you mentioned. Thousands of test cases. So uh, let's suppose I'm having two thousand test cases. So how mm -hmm. much it gonna take time if I apply the same parallel execution to them? Uh, so it depends that the test cases are of uh, UI or fro or of uh, API. If test cases are of UI. Uh, so it depends how many steps are there in test cases, but usually the API test cases takes the similar time. So if we consider that there are thousands of test cases, uh, they will take around two hours in parallel execution. Mm, yes, yeah, somewhat correct. So okay, okay. So what is regression testing? This is the easy one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, regression testing is basically if we have developed the code and we are expecting that this code does not affect the existing functionality so we to check that we do regression testing and automation is one of the best method to do the regression testing yes yes i agree with you sneha yeah. okay so how we can decide that uh, one should use what automation tool in the testing in the framework or in the project Oh, okay, so it depends on what kind of testing we are doing. If uh, we have the web-based automation, we'll definitely, without any, uh, without giving it a thought, we would go uh, towards the Selenium. And if we are doing the uh, desktop-based ap uh, application testing, we would prefer UFT. Okay, UFT and Selenium. I hope you work on both, right? Yeah, I have experience on both the tools. Okay, great. So, uh, what are the attributes of a good framework? And uh, if I'm not using any framework, can I automate my whole project? Uh, so, if we are not following any framework, it would be difficult to maintain all the test cases because there will not be any structured format. So, basically, the framework is developed uh, just to maintain the structure overall so that's why we do that and according to our uh, need we can choose the framework mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh, so you mentioned selenium right yeah uh, 
so how long you are working with selenium uh from past 2 years i am working on selenium and uh, before automation you were, were a manual automation tester right yeah uh, around one year i have spent on uh, manual okay okay so uh, what are the advantages of selenium tool uh so there are many advantages of selenium tool first of all it is open source so anybody anywhere can use it uh second thing is uh selenium is something which is easily available on google like if somebody somewhere is getting some error he can just google it and some uh, other person would have posted something on google so it is very very convenient uh, to uh, search our errors on google so there are many advantages of it uh, correct okay i also worked on selenium using uh, i work on the chrome and mozilla firefox for our application okay so yeah. in jenkins how we can schedule a job okay so uh, in jenkins when we go on configurations uh, module there are some fields and in uh, one field there is the schedule jobs uh, field is there in jenkins where we can give our crones in which format or at what time we want to schedule the job and by doing that our job will get scheduled okay so my last question of this interview yeah uh, so Uh, in our automation we have hybrid testing right so yeah. in hybrid testing framework like ng test or a cucumber framework so you work on them right yeah right uh, so please explain what is this uh so hybrid framework is basically which is uh collaborated by two or more frameworks uh it could be uh, the combination of test ng with data driven framework it could be key- keyword driven plus uh, data driven it could be cucumber plus test ng so any framework which uh, includes two or more frameworks that is hybrid i have worked on uh, keyword driven data driven test ng and cucumber framework uh, it is just that syntax is different different but uh, running the test cases and uh, executing all the things uh, is somewhat like same Yes, Neha. Good, right answer. Okay, so I will share your feedback with the HR, and uh, uh, he or she will update you, right? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, Neha. Thanks for your time. Bye, bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.